let us now look at how slots are allocated in position auctions and how they are priced. So uh, as we discussed before, the value of an agent I is a, a product of three components. The first component is, is its value. So how much it values that particular click it is independent of where, which position that click came from. Uh, it is uh, once the, uh, the user is in the website of the advertiser, that is the value that it gets. Now, the, the probability of getting a click had two components. The first one was uh, the the first one was the position component, and the second one was the uh, component uh, of the of the user. That is the quality component. And now, this uh, three things together uh, was uh, is the valuation, the total valuation, expected valuation of this agent. And uh, from the point of view of the uh, of the uh, search engine or the publisher of this ad. Uh, this is uh, row i component is estimated and what is ai ai is essentially nothing but the allocated slot to agent i so therefore the the complete allocation is given by this vector a, a, a which uh, gives the the corresponding slot so a1 to a n are the different slots that has been allocated to these different agents now because we are actually looking at the efficient allocations uh, we are going to pick the, uh, the allocation which maximizes the sum of the valuations of these agents. So this is the same as the VCG mechanism as we have done before. Now the claim is that if you are doing this kind of a allocation, um, the efficient allocation, uh, it is going to be efficient if and only if it is ranked by expected revenue mechanism. So um, we have already seen the expected uh, revenue. Expected revenue is going to be nothing but this uh, this total quantity because uh, this is the probability of getting a click and whenever that click happens this agent is going to uh, give this value and uh, if you are uh, sorting them with respect to that uh, expected revenue uh, then you are going to get an efficient allocation and the proof is fairly simple I am not going to do it uh, in the most rigorous manner but and the idea is that all that we need to do whenever the agents report their valuation is uh, is to multiply that with their reported theta i and if that uh, if you do uh, the, the the sorted allocation so the first um, uh, slot goes to the agent uh, who has the highest uh, rho i hat times uh, pi uh, theta i value uh, and give it the first slot then he, uh, overall when you are taking the sum of all these things multiplied by the corresponding uh, uh, position effect, the position probability uh, um, uh, of, uh, of that slot, that is definitely going to be uh, the maximum. And the reason is very, very simple. Uh, all these PIs have a, a monotone relationship when you are going from the position 1 to position M. And if you have a bunch of numbers, which are rho i hat times theta i, uh, how should we uh, place them we should start with the highest value highest value going to the highest position any other allocation uh, of this uh, uh, this advertisers to those positions will automatically be suboptimal than that so that's the that's the allocation uh, we are sorting all these agents with respect to their product rho i hat times theta i and starting to allocate them the the positions uh, sequentially so that is going to be the efficient allocation and this is because this is a sorting problem I mean it's already computationally tractable so now the allocation decision uh, is done we need uh, the payments to make it DSIC and quite naturally because the allocation is efficient the natural candidate is going to be the VCG mechanism and this is something which is used in the designing the um, uh, ad auctions on Facebook now uh, what we are going to uh, discuss in this module is essentially a simplified version of that uh, of that mechanism. Uh, certainly, uh, uh, this mechanism, this kind of a uh, thing that we are going to discuss here, is not uh, the same as the actual implementation in Facebook or other uh, social media web pages. But the principle remains the uh, the same. That how uh, we are going to uh, price them and how uh, the the prices per click should be will be the same. Uh, in, in both this in all these cases so let us consider the VCG in position option so what uh, what is given in this case each of these agents are asked for their bids that 
how much their true values are so theta i's are essentially for, for their advertisements and this uh, bidders reveal or the advertisers reveal and this b b i's and b i is nothing but the theta i hat as we have uh, used the notations uh, elsewhere now we can say that the uh, this uh, numbers of this bidders so the the uh, bidder numbers are unimportant all that we matter all that matters is essentially how we are going to uh, sort them so uh, without loss of generality let us assume that uh, they are numbered in, in the way uh, um, such that they are sorted according to their values of uh, rho i uh, rho i hat times bi uh, rho uh, 1 uh, hat times b1 is going to be the first position so the the topmost position uh, the second agent uh, has the second highest value of row 2 uh, hat times b, b2 and so on. So the allocation is uh, essentially the uh, the efficient allocation is going to be the allocation which allocates the, the, uh, these agents in this order. So now what is uh, going uh, what we are going to define is this a, uh, a minus i star. This is something that we will be requiring uh, whenever we are defining the VCG mechanism. Uh, if you are removing a specific agent, let's say agent I, then all the agents that were after that agent I, that is from I plus 1 to N, they now start getting one better slot because uh, the agents were sorted according to their uh, rho I hat times uh, B I. Uh, so if agent I is not present now, all the other agents uh, starting from I plus 1 to N, they will now get allocated one slot because that is now empty so we can write down the the, uh, the pi vcg uh, the payment under this vcg mechanism in the following way so as before we have all this j not equal to i's so that means uh, so imagine uh, in this uh, in this allocation uh, uh, list so suppose this was the position of agent i now uh, we are considering uh, when agent i is present versus when it is not present but we are only summing the valuations uh, of all the agents except agent i so therefore it will not consider this agent's valuation at all it will only look at the uh, uh, agents above it and also the agents that are allocated slots below it right so um, now if we look at the uh, the allocation where agent i is not present that means that all the uh, the uh, agents which were allocated after i they actually move one position above so therefore we can start so uh, in this two uh, so you take the subtraction of uh, of that quantity uh, with the quantity where the allocation uh, is the same but now agent i is also present so therefore these agents uh, these agents do not move up they remain where they are so uh, for all the agents that are above i they actually cancel out from both these sides so we don't really need to look at them so we'll have to start from agent i uh, will go up to n minus 1 so this is the uh, this is the place until which uh, uh, agents have uh, some uh, some value so we i mean this is just for a notational purpose because we are using uh, this notation of j plus 1 um, so for the jth position or the ith position starting from that ith position um, uh, the the next set of agents who were one step later in the actual ordering of these agents they now start getting this uh, the slot jth slot similarly uh, when agent i is present then j j plus one th agent is essentially getting the j plus one th slot so there is no uh, change in shift in their position so this is this is the two terms. So all the other terms I essentially cancelled out. Now we can uh, compress these two uh, summations into one by writing this uh, this difference of the corresponding position effect multiplied by their uh, their valuation, their expected valuation. And of course, this is for all the agents up to n minus one. The last agent in in this list will always have a zero payment. So, so if that agent is removed the alloc allocation of any of the other agents do not change um, so therefore uh, both these things will essentially cancel out and they will have only zero now this is the total expected payment so you can think of this as if the after observing that they have been clicked or not 
Um, now this click is essentially a probabilistic event so therefore uh, what the uh, uh, search engine or the uh, publisher can charge is for a specific click it can it can charge just by dividing with the probability of that click so pi times rho i hat is essentially the probability of getting a click for this agent i which is at the ith position and um, if uh, that that quantity uh, is in the denominator and the payment uh, that we have just discussed is in the numerator that is the, the the payment that this agent makes for every click and that is how the uh, the vcg mechanism is actually implemented in the context of uh, uh, sponsor search options